Hi, my name is Elizabeth Bennett. I'm an artist in Limerick. Um, studied in LSAD, graduated last year. And what else? Um, this is my studio. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a portraiture artist. I do a lot of portraits. I find them interesting. Um, recently doing on the wall, I've been doing a series of paintings where I'm painting people who are on the street. It's kind of like a observation while in quarantine, just watch, watching people down below, little ants, and I'm just there painting them, um, and then kind of characterizing them and giving them storylines and ideas of what they're doing and how they get to leave the house and what I don't. It's so much nicer painting strangers because they don't have to look like the people, so I have so much more artistic freedom to be like, oh, I think they would look better with a massive nose or big fat pop belly, uh, big booty. I just find it so much more fun and free and just to be like, yes, 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 doing what I want and um, not really thinking too much about what the outcome is because I'm not going to have to show this person that I know, oh look, look at this painting I did of you and it looks nothing like you and yeah. I made you ugly. <laughs> um, so it's so much nicer, I love it. And, um, I love giving them storylines. I can't really tell. I can't really give Patrick a storyline. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> my work before was kind of more. It was very, very heavily pink and yellow. So I was very. I limited my palette to only using two colors, um, because I thought it. At the time, I was very attracted to these colors and to the monotone kind of scale of it, and how I could make something monotone very vibrant and make it meaningfully only using two colours. I I don't know, I found that fascinating at the time. And um, I, would I would stick to obviously using my friends and family as like my little like subjects to paint. And I would use like uh, situations of like privacy as my thing. So I would like, I was very interested in voyeurism and watching people and how we as a society watch people. And I suppose I'm still interested in that with like obviously drawing people. But I would draw people who were washing their hands or on the toilet. Um, I'd paint people who were in bed sleeping. I was, I don't know, I found that very fun. I was just like a little creep. <laughs> um, and I suppose it's, it's gotten worse. I'm a lot more creepier now, like painting, painting strangers. Um, so yeah, I was always interested in art. It was the only thing that like I felt passionate about, the only thing I felt confidently that I was good at. It was the only thing that I was like, you know when you're in school and it's like, who's the artist of the class? I, my hand was up first. I was like, yeah, I could paint a pigeon. But what? Yeah, I'm the artist. Um, I don't know. I always, I always just felt like that was my thing. I can, I can paint. I can do art. I'm that. I'm that girl. Like. You know? Yeah, yeah. And uh, like your work's very like abstracted in a manner, and it's kind of like kind of caricature. Do you have any pe people you can say that have inspired you? Um, so recently there's um, there's a guy on Instagram and he's, his name is uh, with a pencil in hand and um, he does a lot of like mixture between like anime and real life and balance between like sex and like porn 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 porn, bleh, bleh, porn. Um, and he does all that kind of stuff so I'm quite, quite inspired by what he does as well because it's um, he does a lot of like Character characters and like real life and how they blend together and he uses different colors to represent different like reasons and people and things so yeah I find interested in him.